yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Sir, yes, sir. <sighs> I love this car so much, y'all. Y'all don't even understand. But what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another carbon fiber anger for y'all, man. So. With that being said, man, I also got an update. I know you guys see the title and the thumbnail. Yes, we are installing some carbon fiber on the interior of the car, but also I got a big update for you guys. I know it's not clickbait. No, it's not cap. You just got to watch the entire video to see what the update is and no skipping. I'm not even going to tell y'all what part of the video I'm going to put the update in. So if you try to skip around to find it instead of just watching the whole video, then you're not going to see the update. Simple as that. Unless you follow me on Instagram, J.I. Productions underscore, but you're already here. So just stick around for the whole video. Hit that thumbs up right now. All right, y'all. So if you guys have been in the loop with all of the videos and you have your post notifications on, then I'm pretty sure you guys saw the upload where we installed the next gen speed carbon fiber center overlay. We also installed the next gen speed carbon fiber push start stop button overlay and then we also installed <laughs> the gear select mode select emergency park brake enable and disable button trim cover carbon fiber next gen speed piece and i told you guys that i'm literally flooding this entire interior with carbon fiber to match the alcantara that's inserted in these beautiful Recaro race seats with that beautiful red seat belt. You know what I'm saying? So, today, these carbon fiber pieces are actually from Amazon. They are not from Next Gen Speed. Even though they are my sponsor, a lot of the stuff is on back order because we are coming out of a pandemic at the moment. So, with that being said, again, if you guys are big JI squad, you got your post notifications on, you got your you're subscribed, you watch almost every video whenever you get a chance to, then you guys know this steering wheel is actually not going to be on the car for too much longer just because of the simple fact that it is Alcantara. Um, or suede whatever you want to call it and as you guys can see it just doesn't age well this car is a 2021 with literally 13,000 miles at the moment and as y'all can see it's just not it's clearly seen better days it, it it's seen better days so as time goes on and the steering wheel starts to wear a little bit more i'm just gonna end up taking it off and replacing it with a full-on custom carbon fiber steering wheel um so all of these pieces are kind of like dress up pieces it's definitely temporary it's a temporary fix um because a i love carbon fiber and b i'm going to use this as like a piece for the wall in my office so might as well you know decorate it now while it's on the car and we can still see it so like i was telling you guys in the video when i did this install and those installs we had the trim piece covering we have the bezel coverings coming and then we also have this little ring coming 
and this entire section all of this is about to change even the SS part is about to change everything it's all it's all being replaced with carbon fiber it's on the way it's just not here at the moment so with that being said as y'all can see we do have two of the carbon fiber pieces so let's go ahead and get those things installed all right y'all so the first thing that we're gonna pop open quick install it's actually that push start stop button that I told you guys I was getting. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hit the button one time so that the light will cut on and then I can line up the line for the light. And go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bro. Oh my gosh. Bruh. Look at that. Oh my god, that is so clean, bruh. I'll hit the button once so the light will pop on. Uh, sheesh, dude. Oh my god, that looks so good. Man. So now, in this box, we actually have... Let me turn that off, my bad. We actually have the cover for these and the little ring. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Bro, I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all don't understand how much I love carbon fiber, bro. Like, for real. I don't know, y'all. Depending on how I feel, I might end up making this a two-part video just because of the simple fact that I, I need y'all to see this complete product. <laughs> oh. Yo, this is my car, bro. Like, I still, I still haven't, like, fully, like, wrapped that around my head. I haven't gotten a chance to fully... <laughs> Son, what? Let me show y'all. Oh show. my god. Boy. So we're just missing the bottom piece now. I've been debating about doing the paddle shifter extensions. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Should I do the carbon fiber paddle shifter extensions? <laughs> Son, what? With the carbon on the... Oh my god. And right there. It then... Sheesh. You know what, y'all? The carbon fiber piece for the bottom end should be here tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a two-part video. This is actually going to carry over into tomorrow. So with that being said, and, oh, the update. The next day. Yo, what is good, y'all? So as y'all can see, it is the next day, and we are in Vader right now. Completely, completely weird. So like I told y'all yesterday while I was installing the carbon fiber, don't mind the drive shaft rattling right now. Don't mind that. We're, it's crazy. So basically, the update. <sighs> okay, so the dealership, right? I went up to the dealership on Monday, and I was taking the car up there because I was under the impression that the drive shafts should be making it either Monday or Tuesday to the dealership so that the, uh, I was like okay let me take the car up there so that I can just have it so that when it's time to you know what I'm saying when it gets there they can just install it and then I can get my car back after work bro I get there and uh, Christian he wasn't there he was on lunch and Frank was in the back so I ended up talking to two other dudes they called in to like the warehouse and the warehouse told them that the drive shaft hadn't been shipped out and it could be three to four weeks um anywhere from three to four weeks to longer for their drive shaft to be shipped out that they have it they just didn't ship it out so i'm like damn three to four weeks so then i asked i said do y'all have a rental car at least of course they don't at the moment you know what i'm saying it's real hard to get cars like we're coming out the pandemic and stuff like that so they didn't have any so you know me being ji man i'm like you know what i know what it is let me just see if i can find the part so i started scouring the internet shout out to my boy les versatile speed on youtube if you haven't go tap in with my boy he got some stuff coming to the channel man make sure you go tap in with him but he was also looking with me we looking for drive shafts i ended up finding one on a 2021 
um, Camaro SS that was crashed in the front, so it was totaled out, and I bought it, <coughs> and I overnight shipped it, and it comes in tomorrow, so literally, the update that I was telling you guys about yesterday was that I bought a drive shaft, and it was coming in on Thursday, now today's Wednesday, and it's coming in tomorrow, and then I just got a call from my boy Frank, well, a text from my boy Frank saying that the drive shaft came in, so... <laughs> this is crazy so right now we are on our way to the dealership to drop off vader as y'all can hear it sounds like trash you know what i'm saying but we're on the way to the dealership to drop off vader and my boy frank is on lunch right now he got about an hour for lunch and then as soon as he gets back from lunch he gonna go ahead and install it yeah man vader's back but like now i have two drive shafts <laughs> okay i don't i don't know but Carbon fiber, man. Carbon fiber. These pieces, oh. Uh, I, I just, let me crack the window for y'all. Like, oh, uh, God. <laughs> the dent on the, oh my God. With the, sheesh. I'm gonna wait till the rest of the stuff comes in, man. Oh my goodness, gracious Lord. But yeah, man, I'm cruising, doing 35 to 40, man, just because I don't want to mess nothing up even worse. Um, But yeah. I'll see you guys when I get to the dealership when we drop off Vader, man. I'm super stoked to have my car back. Uh, as y'all can see, look, bro. Look, bro. Let me show y'all. Like, it's not even cap. Like, like, bro. Bro, what? My car has 13,000 miles. Like, it's a baby, bro. I haven't even driven it. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm super stoked to finally be getting it back. Definitely gonna go watch the car tonight. So y'all just expect a whole bunch of bangers coming, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm finally getting my car back, we lit. I'll see y'all when we get to the dealership. All right, y'all, so get this. Mac Hike is right there, right? And I'm literally at the light doing the right thing. And these niggas are repainting the intersection lines so they have it blocked off. So now I have to go through a whole parking lot and uh bro like i'm so pissed like i'm gonna show y'all it's just it's stupid it's so stupid like they literally have a cop telling people not to go as y'all can see there's a whole bunch of cars like trying to get through here like like this is just crazy like and really out here blocking off the road and this nigga here like, bruh, uh, thank you, for real, for real as hell, appreciate it, uh, they so stupid over there, bro, uh, but we still made it here, we still pulled up, y'all, just got to Mac Hike, finna see if I can drop off this car, oh boy, Frank should be pulling up actually pretty soon here, it's actually 156 right now, so, we're two hours away from Vader being back 100%. So I'll catch up with y'all and update y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, we are here at Chevy. Uh, Christian is on lunch again. Every time I pull up, he's on lunch. But anyway, uh, just got the car checked in, gave him the key already. So they're going to you know, take it to the back, do what they got to do. I don't think I'm going to be staying here. Hopefully, I can get a ride back to work. Um, but because it's supposed to take two hours. So, yeah, we're going to see. But I'll update y'all as we go.